seem not getting better. Things are not getting better. That healing has been delayed. Okay? A journey can be delayed. A flight can be delayed. If you consider that anything late in your life, a delay has occurred. Praise God. Financial breakthrough is another. If you are still struggling financially at a time that you believed you should be doing great financially, that breakthrough has been delayed. Every expectation that failed to manifest is delayed. Whatever it is, a child that was born at over nine months was delayed. But let us be clear on one thing. It is not a delay if it is your plan to have something at a certain time. For instance, if it is in your plan to marry at 50, when most of your contemporaries are getting married at their 20s, your marriage is not delayed. If at 45, you are still single. But your marriage is delayed if you plan to settle down before 30 and now you are 50 and single. It is not a delay. If it is in your plan not to have a child within the first five years of your marriage. So I'm just trying to balance what is delay and what is not delay. Delay in life is not about being the first born or the last born or the middle born in a family. Delay can happen to anyone at any time. Let us look at Father Abraham. He was over 70 and was childless when God called him. Will he have wished to be childless at that age? I don't think so. Even though Bible did not tell us his mind at that time. But he complained to God in Genesis 15 too, that what can you give me since I remain childless at the, and the one who will inherit my estate is Eliza of Damascus. He complained. That means he was, he's very, he was very conscious that he's supposed to have got a child at that age. In Genesis 29, 31, God sealed the womb of Rachel intentionally because Leah was not loved by Jacob. That was a delay as far as Rachel was concerned, but God remembered her in Genesis 30, 22, and she conceived. By that time, Leah, as, um, I mean her sister, has got seven children. The children of Israel did not get to the promised land in time, which was the handiwork work of the Almighty God. That was a delay. The journey from Egypt to Canaan land, the land, the promised land, supposed to have taken 11 days, but took them 40 years. That was a father of all delays. Daniel was a prophet of God who prayed. His prayers were answered, but delayed by one prince of Persia in Daniel 10, 12 to 14. So angel appeared to Daniel and said to him that, Do not be afraid, Daniel, since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding, and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. But the prince of Persia kingdom resisted me twenty-one days. Then Michael, one of his chief princes, one of the chief princes, came to help me, because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Now I have come to explain to you what will happen to your people in the future, for the vision concerns a time yet to come praise god if your expectation in life has not come at the time you wanted it that was a delay so what causes delay it could be anything some delay could be natural and some could be the work of some kind of forces and god himself can cause some delays the bible says in the book of ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 that for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places there are some forces in place they could cause delays in someone's life some people's expectations are delayed because some forces hijacked their blessings and delayed it amen like in the case of daniel a force prevented him from having his prayer reaching him the prayer was actually answered but was delayed in the case of rachel God sealed her womb. She did not have her own children in time while her sister was having hers. God said to Abraham in Genesis chapter 15 verse 13 that Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in the land that is not theirs and shall serve them and they shall afflict them 400 years. Okay, but in Exodus chapter 12 verse 40 they ended up spending 430 years. 
some individuals can as well be, a, be an architect of their own delays. Some delays have got themselves involved. Some, I mean, some people have got themselves involved in some kind of unhealthy covenant. Let me give you a scenario. A, two people are actually dating one another. They were holding courtship. And along the line, they were so intoxicated by their love for one another and they, uh, they made covenant. Okay, in those days when people don't have this wisdom, they cut their bodies and uh, blood was coming out and that uh, they touch each other's blood. Okay, uh, they touch each other with that blood and they made covenant and said, okay, you know what? If we break up, if my fault, if it's your fault, this is what is going to happen. Shortly after that, they have problems and they separated. They went in their own ways. Okay. Now, after some time, they got married. Okay. The man got married and the lady got married. So they got married and they discovered that they couldn't have children or the, the marriage is not happy. They have forgotten that they made covenant uh, when they were uh, years ago, when they were having courtship with one another. And that uh, all these kind of things can create problems for people when you are making unhealthy covenant. Praise God. So what could cause we could cause delay to some things in our life. We could be an architect of some delays in our lives. In Genesis chapter 30 verse 14 downward, Rachel exchanged her own turn of sleeping with her husband Jacob for Mandrake brought from farm by one of Leah's children. Okay, let me tell you that story. We know the story of Jacob. Okay, he had um, he had two wives. Um, when he went to uh, Laban, uh, his father-in-law, what happened was that um, he fell in love with uh, Rachel. Okay, and the plan that okay, we are going to get married to Rachel, but we are going to serve me for seven years, and I will give you your wife. And they agreed. So he was serving Jacob. So he was having he was serving Laban. So after seven years, they tricked Jacob, you know, he too was a corny man. They paid him back in his own bad coins. So, they tricked Jacob and they gave Leah, the senior sister, uh, to Jacob. So, it was on the following morning that Jacob discovered that they have actually tricked him that instead of them giving him um, uh, Rachel, they gave him Leah. So, Jacob complained to Laban and said, you know what, I don't like what you did to me. You've given me Leah instead of Rachel. And they said, okay, you know, in our family, they've been sent to Jacob. In our family, uh, the sister, the elder sister uh, doesn't go to, doesn't get married. Um, uh, sorry, the junior sister doesn't get married uh, before the elder sister. So the elder sister has to get married first. Then if you want Rachel again, you have to serve another seven years. Jacob agreed because he loved Rachel. So he served another seven years. And eventually got married to um, Rachel. But what God did was that God intentionally sealed the womb of Rachel because Leah was not loved. Okay, so um, childbearing for Rachel was actually delayed. That is it. So um, Leah started having children. Rachel couldn't be any children. So one day Reuben, one of Leah's children, went to farm and brought some fruit mandrake home from the farm okay the root of that um mandrake looks like a human being okay it's like a human form and when um rachel saw that mandrake she just said okay let me have these uh for this particular uh fruit uh plant uh maybe i can conceive so he asked uh reuben to give her the mandrake Leah saw that and Leah came in and said, you took my husband and you want to take my son's um, plant as well. Uh, Leah just went against that. And uh, Rachel made an uh, offer to um, Leah and said, okay, tonight is my turn to sleep with her husband. But I will take this plant and that uh, you can sleep with her husband uh, tonight. And Leah agreed. So when Jacob came in, Leah went to him and said, look, you are sleeping with me tonight because I've exchanged with um, Rachel uh, for my son's mandrake. So, Jacob uh, went in with, slept with uh, Leah that night. And after that, after that incident, Leah had three more children. Rachel 
was still barren. Maybe, just maybe, just maybe, it could be if Rachel has not swapped with Leah that particular day, maybe she could have conceived. That's what I'm saying, that sometimes we, we uh, harmed ourselves by our own decisions and this could cause delay sometimes. But God dwells in the affairs of men and can bring anyone's expectation to pass and cancel all delays. And that is going to be my prayer this morning. Delay is not denial. Listen to what Isaiah said in Isaiah 43, 18 to 19. It says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. This morning, the Almighty God will do a new thing in your life. For anyone that is experiencing delays, whether it's childbearing, whether it's marriage, whether it's a, a good health, whether it's a financial breakthrough, today is your day and the Almighty God will bring a breakthrough to your way in the name of Jesus. The book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Amen. Even though God delayed in bringing the children of Israel out of Egypt, he still did it at his own time. Despite God's closing Rachel's womb because of Leah, he still remembered her and gave her her own children. Even though Daniel's prayers is delayed, his prayer was still answered. God always brings the hope of his people into fulfillment. You will never fail. You can never fail. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. If you know your life has been experiencing delay, will we pray and cancel that delay in the name of Jesus Christ right now? If you believe, you will see the glory of God. No matter the delay in your life, this morning, that delay will receive the hammer of God. In Ezekiel 37, God brought some dry bones back to life. This morning, your story will change in the name of Jesus. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Let us pray. Eternal Rock of Ages, the great physician, the creator of the universe. We brought before you this morning many cases of delays. The Bible says that many are afflictions of the righteous, but you, the Almighty God, you deliver them out of them all. For those who are having delays in getting married, Father, open the door of marriage for them in Jesus' name. Let there be wedding bell this year in their homes in the name of Jesus. Those who are waiting on you for the fruit of the womb, they never expected that they would wait this long. They never expected that we have passed through this passage of life. The expectations to be a mother or a father has been delayed. The Bible says that, Behold, children are heritage from the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is the reward. Jehovah God Almighty, let all expectations be brought forth in Jesus' name. Let this year be a year of celebration for them in the name of Jesus. For all of you under my voice this morning, no matter what the cause is, I cancel every root of delays in your life in Jesus' name. I pray for God's favor on you in Jesus' name. Let every door of solutions be opened towards you in Jesus' name. Let every chain of adversity be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every, every chain of delays be broken in Jesus' name. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. This year is going to be your year. Even though we are in the month of April, this year is going to be your year. God will open all your doors of expectation to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil hand that stretches to against you shall be withered out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil legs that are running after you shall be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil eye that have been spying on you shall go blind in the name of Jesus Christ. You will walk tall before your enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. All the chains of delays are broken in the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe, it shall be so for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jehovah God Almighty, for answered prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I sincerely thank all those who are with me this morning. God bless you for joining me this morning. Um, it is well. Um, Ulusho, um, thanks you for joining me this morning. Rachel Femi, 
thanks so much. May God bless you all. May God continue to be with you. Oh, Lucia, God will be with you in your ministry as well in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, my regards to Sister Day. God bless you, sir. And God bless you as well, Richard Femi, and everyone that have joined me this morning. The Almighty God will beat you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you all and stay blessed. Amen. <music>